The New Mexico Legislature reconvenes on January 17th. This year, the city will ask lawmakers to consider reviewing some tax policies. The first is Hold Harmless Gross Receipts Tax, or HHGRT, distributions. As the state phases out HHGRT distributions to municipalities, it may consider re-implementing a food and medicine tax instead. Our understanding is that the state may look at an overall tax reform, including gross receipts tax, and our concern for the Las Cruces and all local municipalities and counties is ensuring that we're protected from those gross receipts taxes from the loss of that potential revenue. Another is tax reporting and data sharing between governments. The state shares GRT tax reports to cities based on industry classifications, like retail sales, food and lodging, or agriculture. But it's difficult for the city to see where the local economy is most effective. The city hopes the state can revise the existing law to allow for expanded local information. That information would allow us to better analyze our local economy. Uh, at a sector-wide level because m certain businesses may be doing better within the same sector than others. And we can't analyze that without knowing where it's coming from individually. The city understands funding is limited statewide, but it hopes New Mexico could consider assisting with requests related to public safety, like a squad vehicle for the fire department, saving on costs associated with a fire truck responding to accidents or EMS calls. We're looking for the acquisition of an additional squad vehicle. Um, it's a one-time large capital purchase, but it goes a long way, and it would put us halfway through all of our fire stations having squad vehicles. It is also interested in acquiring body cameras for police officers and computers for their police vehicles. The city is also reaching out for assistance with right of way and flow of north and southbound traffic at the T intersection of Telshore and Spruce because of common traffic backups. We feel like there, we could design the intersection and acquire some right of way that would improve that flow. Uh, it's really scary to think that you have a backup of traffic um, in a tough intersection and then what if an emergency vehicle needs to get through. Um, it would be an interesting maneuver by both police and fire. Last year the city asked for assistance with street improvements and streetlight synchronization. For City Beat, I'm Jennifer Martinez.